Hey guys, it's Robin Scherzer with Robin Stampin' Hood. Happy Thursday and welcome to my Therapy Thursday. It's starting to rain, so we're going to hope for the best when it comes to <laughs> my lovely Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh, but I'm the only one home, so I might be okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to keep it simple today. I was kind of playing around. I wasn't feeling the best today, so... I didn't get as much done as I would have liked to have gotten done because um, I had to throw a few naps in there. And if you know me, napping is the way to go. All right, so a few things. I still do have room um, next Saturday for my second Christmas stamp stack, Saturday at 10 a.m. I have two spots available. I would love for you and a friend to fill it if you can. Uh, check out the sneak peek I gave you on my Facebook page because um, I don't have the cards with me, but I did share a picture on my Facebook page yesterday, I believe it was. Um, so please make sure you check that out. And if you can come, I would love to see you. Uh, and then we have the special going on for celebrating 35 years with Stampin' Up. Uh, you can either get the starter kit for 35% off or you can get 35% more product. So make sure you ask me about that because it's a great deal and I would love for you to join my team. We have a great team. Um, I shared some pictures of them the other day. We had a team meeting on Saturday or Sunday, I'm sorry. We do swapping, we do eating, we do talking. It's a lot of fun. So if you have questions, please ask away. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm just gonna do this really quick. So. You know, sometimes I get a little bored with just the card folding. And so I decided I was going to do a real quick fun fold, which I know you guys have done before. It's a little different than what I've done. So this was one of the samples I did. Um, we're actually going to go to see Sage this weekend. It's their homecoming at Trine University. And I'm bringing her roommates a bunch of little Halloween goodies. So I thought, oh, I'll make them some cards too. Just, to, you know, you know, they're still our kiddos, right? So anyways, this is the, I just took, I have very little of this paper left because we played so much with it. But with Halloween coming up, I thought it's perfect. So that's what it looks like inside, the Happy Halloween there. So, and then the little ghost. Now, these have sold out and they are not getting any more, which makes me super sad. But I was going to see, can you see it glowing in the dark if I turn off my lights? I don't know. Let's see. Mm, I don't think you can. I just, I need more darkness and I don't want to put it in total darkness. But they actually glow in the dark. There is the glow in the dark paper still available. And, and this paper is still available as well. But just not the little bats and goats, ghosts. So we're going to do a real fun fold card like that tonight. So, but we're using some different paper. Have you guys seen the online exclusive paper? Oh my gosh. So this is one of them. This is called, uh, let me see, what's it called? Traditions of St. Nick. And it is not in the mini catalog. It's an online exclusive. And it coordinates with the St. Nick suite that is in the mini catalog. So if you um, were liking that Santa, this paper matches it perfect. So I just wanted to show you real quick. I didn't get a chance to cut it up, but then there's the back side of that. And we're gonna use that today. Little stockings and then the back side of that. So I like the B side of this because it's kind of old fashioned, kind of vintagey. Look at that, that's fun that, that, the back side, and then this. I'm going to make something with this one. I saw a really cute little box. <laughs> we'll see if I can get my boxes right. So there's that. Hello, Pat. Okay, let's see. Um, so that's an online exclusive. And so is this. So I'm going to use this. I haven't even used this yet. Um, I'm going to use the Tis the Season to be Jolly because I've thought he it worked perfect with the um paper so let's do it shall we okay so i'm actually going to use red because that's one of the colors that's in there uh wild wheat is another color that is in there and then of course just my basic white so let me grab all my little supplies here 
and I cut him out already. And let's see. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The first thing I'm going to do before I do my scoring is I'm going to get some of my pieces all put together because otherwise <clears throat> I just lose them. So we are going to put him on there. Now this is, um, did I tell you this was the wild wheat? Yes. Uh, I think some people have an aversion to it, but it really coordinates well with a lot of different colors. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can see he's got wild wheat in his, um, his Santa Claus or his Saint Nick outfit. So it goes perfect. So I thought, oh, I'll use that for that. And then I'm going to layer these two pieces together. This is actually going to be my inside. <clears throat> I've started to, um, you know, if you've stamped with me a long time, you know that I didn't always do my insides. So I've started to do my insides. But now I've also started to step those up a little bit by giving even more layers inside because I just think it looks so nice to finish it off. Like when you looked at this one of my card, this card, you could see, hey, Bonnie, you could see that, um, you know, I have different layers. I didn't just slap a white piece in there. So I've started to do that. I don't know why. I just think it looks nice. OK, um, actually, let's stamp this real quick. So this is from the Nested Essentials, which I've told you guys, if you don't have it, you need it. It's one of the better, um, one of the better tools to have when you want to layer things. So these things layer nicely. And where did my stamp go? Oh my goodness. Here we go. I'm losing things already. Here it is. Okay. So this is Mossy Meadow because that's one of the other colors in that suite. And it looks like I have fuzz on here. So I'm going to just clean it really quick because we don't want a fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Okay, so we're just going to, tis the season to be jolly. I know you think, oh my gosh, Robin, it's not even Halloween yet. I know, but you know, as crafters, we need to do this stuff early, right? So... Otherwise, we'll never get our Christmas cards out. So you can see with the Nested Essentials, this one, it layers perfectly with it. And I love the stitching around it. So again, if you don't have that, you definitely need it in your arsenal as a basic, you know, as a basic kind of tool. Okay. So we're just going to layer that. All right. So we have our three pieces that we need. Now we're going to go ahead and score this. It's a real simple score. I know you all probably have done them before. So your first score line is at two and an eighth. Oops. Two and an eighth. And then four and a quarter. And all your all that really is, is the card is folded in half and then brought back. So pretty easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the, the, the key to this card is you don't want to see the layers underneath. So the first thing you want to, so it's a very simple fun fold, right? So the first thing you want to do is put your inside piece down. So, cause we're going to match up our outside piece with it. So it's better if you have that down first, cause you can layer on top of it to kind of see, you'll see what I mean here. So I'm going to flip her over. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle of the card base. Just kind of centering it, right? Okay. And then I'm going to close it up because this piece is obviously going to go on top. So I'm kind of, you can see the bottom, right? You can see the bottom layer there. So I'm kind of, you can see you want to cover that up. You don't want, you don't want it offset like that. You want to be able to totally hide it when the person opens the card. So that's why I wanted you to do the bottom part first. So this is a little trick I learned. And if you've been watching me a while, you know I've not done this before. So when I saw this, it was like a oh, light bulb went off. So instead of trying to guess, because of course you don't want any, uh, glue on this part of it, you're gonna flip your card over. But <laughs> don't do what I did when I was practicing. I flipped it like this, put the glue here, 
And then when I flipped it back, the glue was on that side. So make sure you flip this way when you do it. So I'm kind of lining it up with, well, I am lining it up with the base that I just showed you. Then I'm gonna take my glue, and because I can see exactly where my line is, I can just do this. All right, and then you're gonna flip her over and line it back up with the piece on the bottom, right? Easy, easy, easy. Like I saw somebody do this and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so brilliant. <laughs> All these years I've been like trying to guess, oh, I think I'm, uh, I, I don't think I've gone over. So there's that. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're just gonna layer it. We'll put, I think we're gonna just put it right there. I think that'll look pretty. So again, the paper and the stamp are online exclusives only. So you'd have you go online to my online store and you can see it there. So there's that. But of course, you know me, you always have to have an embellishment, right? You have to stamp, layer, and embellish. So I'm gonna take the the festive, these are the festive pearls, and I think I'm just gonna add some gold ones right here at the bottom. And right here, there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is such a simple card to do like for anything. And I'm pretty much just utilizing my background paper, which, you know, a lot of times we forget that. Like that should be kind of the star of the show a lot of times. So again, this is St. Nick, uh, old St. Nick paper. Can only find it in the online exclusives or it's called Traditions of St. Nick. Um, along with the So Very Merry stamp set. And I will tell you, at, at this stamp set, it was the first time I've used it because I wanted to use the Tis the Season to be jolly. It actually goes with the two and three eighths circle punch. So these can be punched out with this punch if you have it. So there you go. Easy, easy. And I'll bring it back in my little Halloween card. So you can stamp on the inside of this one or write on the inside. I mean, like, look at Halloween, Christmas two very different cards and easy and quick to make. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thank you for stopping in on the, this Thursday. Um, I'll be gone, uh, spend some time with my baby girl, watching her skate this weekend and being a momsicle. Um, I bought a new coat, so I'm very happy. I will be warm this season. Okay, you guys, happy stamping.